In this problem, we'll draw an orbital diagram for iron. Now before we draw the orbital diagram, we must first write the configuration. Let's pay a visit to the periodic table. Iron is located in the 3D block here on the fourth level of the table. So if we wanted to write a complete diagram, we would start at the top with level 1, block S, and there are two boxes. We'll say 1S2, 2S2, 2P6. Now we continue past level 2 into level 3. We'll have 3S2, 3P6. Now come down to level 4, we'll have 4s2 and 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, for 4s2, 3d6. So when we draw the diagram, we give one blank for 1s, one blank for 2s, three blanks for 2p, one blank for 3s, three blanks for 3p, a blank for 4s, and now for 3d we'll have five blanks. Each blank represents an orbital. We can think of orbitals as electron houses, places where the electrons tend to spend most of their time. s always has one orbital, p always has three orbitals, and then d always has five orbitals. Now, our first term says 1s2, so 1s gets two electrons. And remember that one must point up, one must point down. We can never have two electrons point in the same direction. 2s also has two electrons. We have 2p6, so we place six electrons in the p. 3s2, again, two electrons in 3s. 6 electrons in 3p, 2 electrons in 4s, and then 6 electrons in 3d. Be careful when you fill the 3d. We don't pair unless we have to. So when we fill the 3d, I'm going to start by drawing one pointed up, one for every orbital, and now that's taking care of five of them. Our sixth electron has to pair one of these. It doesn't matter too much which one, as long as we make sure that it's pointed the opposite direction. So this will be our orbital diagram. Now, we are asked how many unpaired electrons there are in iron. It seems most of our electrons have pairs, but our unpaired electrons are the ones that are by themselves and point it up. So we'll say we have one, two, three, four unpaired electrons. Now we are asked how many core electrons there are in iron. Now if we check the energy levels, we see that 4s is the highest possible level because it's level 4. Everything else is less than level 4. Now 3d is an incomplete level. That's also considered valence. So everything in this blue box I'm drawing will consider valence and everything else will consider core. So if we are asked how many electrons are core electrons, let's count them up. We'll have two from 1s, two from 2s, 6 from 2p, 2 from 3s, and 6 from 3p. And we'll add them all together. 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2. This gives us a total of 18 core electrons. Now, let's check our valence. That's the 3d and the 4s. The 3d has 6 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the 4s has two electrons. Add these together and we'll get eight valence. 
and we'll write this here. So now we have the number of unpaired electrons, the core electrons, and the valence electrons.